hello hello today we are looking into the case of michael vaughn i admittedly do not know very much about this case at all i know it's recently been back in the news which is why i'm going to look into it now um admittedly this little boy in a way kind of resembles my son to me like i see like the same energy and even slight physical resemblances between this boy and my son so I think I kind of was avoiding this case a little bit because it's just it's hard to look into that when you like see that connection or you know what I mean so um that being said I have been getting requests and messages about it so going to look into it and see what we're able to get um I'm going to start in like a like instead of starting from the beginning I want to start now and work my way backwards to the beginning, specifically with the, um, Sarah Wandra, who was recently arrested. I want to know, how can we do this? I want to start with her current internal dialogue. What is her current internal dialogue? The devil in reverse. King of Cups upright and Knight of Pentacles upright. She's trying to. There's a male figure that has an emotional connection with Sarah. And Sarah, in her mind, is going back through the connection that she has with this male and trying to figure out like what did I miss what did I not understand that led us to this almost like Almost like now that she's in jail and she's realizing that this is coming down on her, she's in her mind is like, how did I get tricked into taking the fall for this? Maybe not tricked, but like, how am I the one that's like in the lead in terms of taking the fall for this? That's what's happening in her mind. And in her mind, there's a male that she has a personal connection to that should be the one in her position right now. It's almost like she expected or like maybe was even told if someone goes down for this and they go to you, I'll take the fall. I'll, I'll, I'll tell at that point, if you're going to, if you're going to get in trouble for it, then at that point I'll step forward. But that person didn't step forward. Um, okay, so this person then, this person that she is the connection to, that she feels should be in her shoes, I want that his energy, hers, and the energy between them. Two of Cups, the Chariot in Reverse, and Page of Wands. So... The man that she has a connection with that she thinks that that man should be in her literal shoes, like in jail right now instead of her. The person that she either assumed or was told, if it comes to someone going to jail, I'll step in and say, okay, it's not her, it's me. But that didn't happen. That person is focused on... staying on her good side or trying to trick her in some way so that she doesn't spill the beans about something that's not yet been stated out loud. Sarah is it's it's almost it's like It's like she's waiting or expecting for someone else 
to switch places with her or take the fall instead of her like there's she she doesn't believe that she's going to be the one in the end that these charges stick to in her mind there's someone else who's either like on their way to getting caught or is or she believes is going to come forward and say what happened like she feels like it's just a matter of time until i get out of here because so and so is going to end up in my position once whatever comes out comes out but she has a, a loyalty to this person which is why she's not and i mean there might not be anything she can say that would make it better anyway but there's like a loyalty to this person and that's why she's not straight up flipping on them and saying this you gotta this is the person um but at the same time their 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 relationship between sarah and the person the male has stopped it's no longer progressing it's no longer what it was so it's like whatever energy she was being fed beforehand, like, oh, it's gonna be okay. I'll take the fall or you won't end up, this will happen or this will happen. Like that communication has stopped because obviously that person can't say it over a jail call anyway. So that has stopped and that's causing her to really question, wait, is it actually gonna go the way that I think it's gonna go? Am I gonna get out of here? Is this gonna go the way that like, that allows me to be free, that's what she's thinking. Like, she definitely has a role in it, but I'm feeling like she was not the, either she's not responsible for his death and someone else is responsible, but she helped in other ways, or she's responsible but someone else got her to do it or put her in the position where it had to be done or something along those lines like she's not the mastermind at, at all um of this plan or cover up anything um now i want to see her husband stacy which I don't want to make any assumptions and say that that's the guy with the connection. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm saying now I want to look into her husband, Stacy, Stacy Wandra versus Sarah Wandra versus their energy between. Five of Swords, Reversed Ace of Swords, and Temperance. Interesting. So there's definitely conflict between the two of them but it's like an unspoken con like how can i put this he is trying to confuse her by using conflict either he's distracting her with other conflicts like pay attention to this because this is a conflict or they're fighting between one another but he's trying to confuse her in some way and she in regards to the connection between the two of them he's trying to confuse and distract and she's trying to get a calm clear mind so she can look at it in a rational way and try and see it for what it is Like, until her, until the cuffs went on her hands, she thought that there wasn't a possibility that this would go down on her. She thought that something was figured out. I don't know what it was yet, but she thought that there was something figured out that was like set in stone that wasn't gonna let her end up in jail for this. And now she's like sh shocked, like she's shocked, honestly. Um, so they got news that during the course of the investigation, we've received information that remains of Michael might be found behind the Wandra's house. But I don't believe they were. Um, 
what was how can I put this? What was the information? Why was that information given and what was the information? Five of Cups, Two of Pentacles reversed, and Five of Pentacles reversed. So, e either she or he was talking to someone about something and that person thought that they were hinting at meaning that something was out there. Someone that they didn't think would be looking at it from that angle, like someone that they did not expect would suspect them of anything. That person was thinking back through conversations and realized, wait, would did she let it slip? But like, just thinks I would never put it together. Like that's the kind of something that led them there. But at the same time, there's some kind of like, some kind of like money trail that that the cops have either like a money trail or an exchange of money or like a purchase that is not normal for them that like was at a specific time that would kind of it's something with money or it could, it could have been if it's not like it's it could be like purchasing something or like they're seen purchasing something or they're seen on camera like something is off and abnormal for this couple to have done that has something to do with financials or money or a purchase right around the time that fits in with the person's story that told them to go look where they looked and dug everything up. So it's like they know that even though they didn't find anything there, it's still significant because it matches something else, which is that purchase or the, the money trail or whatever. So it's like, even though they didn't find anything, it still was, it still enabled them to put other pieces of the puzzle together that made them have more of a case against them, regardless that they didn't find anything there yet. Um, All right, now I want to, actually, hold on. So she, when she's getting arrested or beforehand or something, authorities are at the property and she says in a video, God already told me who did it. And when the judge informed her of her rights, she said, I don't have any reason to be silent because I didn't do anything wrong. She allegedly said she definitely did not kill that boy and that God already told me who did it. She implicated her husband in the boy's death. She told officers her husband allegedly buried the boy in a backyard by the shed. Let's just, what was her mindset at that time? We're going back inside of her mind. What was her mindset? The lovers, the six of wands reverse, and the knight of swords reverse. So in terms of her relationship and her connection with her husband, at that time, when that was all going on, it was almost like she was like trying to, like she thought she thought that what would happen in that moment which is she would say okay it's my husband and the husband would come forth and be like okay yeah it was me and that didn't happen um 
and that's when that's kind of why she's like I definitely did not kill that boy God told me who did it, it, it it's like she was trying to put that plan in action like she there was I feel like she was told if the police come and they try to arrest you I'll step in and I'll say it was me and obviously that didn't happen um but yeah that was like her kind of she fully expected that that situation was going to end with her not going to jail um On July 28th, 2021, a day after Michael vanished, Stacy posted a news story about the missing boy on his Facebook page. Four days later, he posted the boy's picture on his Facebook page. And that's the husband. What was the energy when he was posting that? Six of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Swords. Queen of Wands in reverse. His wife was getting him to post that or was telling him to post like, either she told him specifically to post that or she said post something about it. Like she was It's almost like she was over, over, overthinking it to the point that she was like, oh, well, if people look back, they'll see that, like, this post and then they'll, they'll believe it wasn't us or something like that. Like, this is weird energy. Like, how can I say this? It's almost like the wife was mad at Stacy. Oh, I want to use their names. Hold on, so it doesn't get confusing. Sarah. What's her name? Crap. Sarah. It's almost like Sarah was mad at Stacy and was like, like, telling him to post them as a punishment. It's weird. It's weird. It's like, oh, you don't even care. You don't want to post anything about it. Like, oh, you, you think that's, I don't know. It's very strange energy. I can't make sense of it. it it's, it's like, it's like she was trying to invoke guilt in him by having him post that. She definitely either told him to Maybe she posted it for him, but I'm feeling it's more a situation where she's like, you need to post that or repost that or you need to post something. It's coming from her that 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 it's coming from her for sure. Um, what is making the police look at her as opposed to him? Page of Pentacles, Three of Cups and High Priestess. they do, they think it's both of them they know it's not just her alone but they have they they feel they have a better chance of putting the pressure on her and getting her to turn on him than they would the other way around or maybe it's like it's something along those lines but they they definitely know it's not just her you know what it is i think that it's not them turning on each other. It's them turning on someone else. There's another woman involved in this. And they feel that they have a better chance of having her locked up and her flip on that third woman while they still build up a case against the husband and see if he leads them to anything. But 
they think they have a better chance of putting pressure on her to flip on the woman than they do if the man, they, they don't think that he would, and they have something more direct on Sarah than they do right now on Stacy. So it's like it's a combination of a couple things, but mainly they think that Sarah's more likely to flip on this other woman that's involved in this. It's either another woman or it's like a group of some sort. Th this is like reading to me like he was not taken to be killed initially but something went wrong and now Sarah is like in trouble in a way with someone because of something going wrong. So it's like someone from the outside is mad at her for this not going the right way. And because of that, the police feel like they might be, get, be able to get her to turn on that other person as a means to get out and get out without that person causing trouble. But it's almost like they're leaving the guy out of it to see if there's a, you know what it is? Since the, since the third person, oh, okay. So since the third person is out, not in prison and not mentioned anywhere yet, as far as I know, um, that person, they're trying to see which which way they can make a connection quicker. Will the guy do something, like since he's free, would he lead them somehow to establishing that connection? Or will she, with the pressure on her in jail, flip and name drop that third person? There's another woman that's involved in this, allegedly entertainment purposes only. There's another woman that's involved in this that, that has, that has a, a significant share in the blame for this. Um, what's that third woman's energy? Sarah's energy and between them. Four of Cups, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Oh. Seven of Swords. What else came out? Ten of Cups. Um... Um, oh boy. Going to try and think of a good way to say this. This is what I'm getting, allegedly for entertainment purposes only. It's like there's a woman or a group of women it's a woman I think it's like a it's like a dominant energy woman that wanted to purchase a child or a situation with a child I think it's like a whole child it wanted I think it was like you know that third woman either directly mentioned it to them, like there there was there was a financial gain opportunity for Sarah and Stacy if they would get a child for this woman. This woman would give them money for a child. It was like okay if that child was like taken from someone else essentially. so they did that they found a child took a child and before that child was able to go with that third woman something happened 
but there was already to use a deposit um, made on said transaction. So it would be an incoming amount to Sarah or Stacy, likely Sarah. That's probably, I think that that's maybe what they have is some kind of transaction amount. There's some kind of payment came in, but but then the rest of the transaction didn't happen because something else happened in the meantime. It, like the happy family card, the Ten of Cups, so it's like... Someone wanted to add a child to their family and their way to do this was getting someone else to kidnap someone else's child and paying them for that. But something went wrong. And now everything is not the way that it is meant to be in their situation because something went wrong and that final transaction never ended up going through. And now the people who kidnapped the child or took the child, they owe, likely they owe that money back to the other person, but now one's in jail. So it's like they're, they're waiting to see what happens with that. And they're hoping that Sarah being in jail will flip on that other person because it's almost like they, I, I, I can hear like, where's the money from, Sarah? Where's the money from? Okay, where's the money from then? What's the money for? I feel like they found the transaction and that's kind of what is connecting her specifically to that general time period. It's almost like they, they didn't find anything in the yard, but it's like you still got this money or you still made this deposit or you still made this purchase at this time. Where did you get this money from? Where did you get it from? and that they're trying to push that to see what happens. Um, I don't know how deeply I wanna go into this part. Let's, um, one second. So, okay, I want to know, we're going to look at Michael's energy, the, this, okay, right, we're going to look into as Michael was being taken from his situation to however he was taken. In that hour time span that that was happening, like a half hour before, the time and a half hour after that hour when he was taken what was michael's energy and his kidnapper's energy and the energy between them strength in reverse the hierophant Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> so strength in reverse is Michael's energy. It's almost like someone approached him and was like, hey, come with me. Your mom told me it's okay. Or your mom told me to pick you up or something like that. Like he was lured in some way. And he was like, I don't like, it. it's like, he was like, I don't know. Or tried to say no, but like, they either just took them or they kept pushing that like, no, your mom told me it's okay or something like that. Something like that. Um, he, Michael definitely felt un, uneasy, like wasn't trusting the other person. So that being said, it's not someone that like he knows well, okay? Um, which 
I was already pointing to pretty much with the whole beginning of the reading, but now it's confirmed. It's not like a parent or like a aunt. Like it's it's someone that he wasn't comfortable just going with. Um, someone that he didn't know. Someone that made him feel uneasy. Someone that was trying to trick him or like, you know. Kids can pick up on energy very well, believe it or not. And he was picking up on this person's energy and was like, I don't think I believe you. Um... So the Ace of Pentacles is about a, like a new income, a new opportunity to make money specifically. So his kidnapper, the person who took him from his life into a bad situation, that person who did that, that person was thinking, I can make money doing this. This is going to get me money. Um, and then we have the Hierophant in reverse, which is about like a like an unconventional method. In this case, an unconventional method of making money because most people don't kidnap children to give them to someone else for money to make money. Most people have humanity and can find a real job. But that is what this person wanted to do and that's what is really being confirmed here it's almost like it's almost like the kidnapper was like i need this money so bad that it like nothing else matters to them they didn't care that they were taking this little boy from his life and his family all they could see was how badly they needed this money and they were like that's how they were able to just be okay with doing this that and they're a bad person um but Um, let's see. So, the kidnapper kidnaps Michael and they get back to wherever they initially had him. What is the energy? Nine of Swords. He was very scared. He knew that he wasn't like. He knew that it wasn't his mom telling someone to come pick him up and watch him. Like, he knew that it was that. Six of Swords in reverse. He knew that there was trouble. And the Moon in reverse. He knew that he was being lied to. It's, it's like they, the, either they or the person, whatever, the kidnapper, approached him and was like, oh, it's okay, come with me. Your mom said it's okay, or your dad said it's okay. And he was like apprehensive, like, no, I don't think so. But then somehow, either by force or by convincing, they got them him to come with them. And he was still unsure about it, but then they got to wherever they were going. And whenever they got to wherever they were going, it's almost like they were, like, the kidnapper was like, okay, you're actually kidnapped. Like, it. It's like they confirmed it. They didn't try to keep up an appearance of, oh, your mom's okay with it, or I'm babysitting you, or something. Like, it's essentially that they were like, okay, this is, you're kidnapped, essentially. Um, okay, so now I want to know, after he was taken, um, so there had to be some kind of conversation or contact between the kidnapper and the person that the kidnapper kidnapped for. Okay, that third woman, that third party. After that communication happened and the kidnapper let the woman know that they had a child, what was the energy? The world in reverse. Seven of cups and seven of wands. Well, double sevens. The, the person felt very like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I can't believe you did it so quickly. I can't believe you did it. This is great. How do we move forward from here? We can do this and this. We have to figure out a way 
you know, to do this without getting caught or something like that. We have this option or this option or this option. But at the same time, I feel like Michael was putting up a fight. Like he wasn't just sitting there quietly. Like he was trying to get away or he was giving them some kind, he was putting up a fight. He was, he was scared and he was putting up some kind of fight and that was causing a problem. Either he was being too loud or he was like just it's almost like these people expected to kidnap him and then just him be like, okay, I'll just sit here and wait for y'all to decide what to do. Like, but that wasn't happening. Um, I feel like I feel like the the person who was who was getting the kidnappers to kidnap I feel like that person was not being as quick as the kidnappers expected them to be. It's almost like this I don't know if he was like walking outside or they went in the house. I, I can't, I, I don't know, but like, it's almost like, let's say a kid's walking down the street and you're like, oh, like this is the opportunity. And then it just happens really quick. And then all of a sudden you're like, hey, um, that favor that you asked me for it, actually, I already did part one. And the person's like, wait, what? I'm not ready. Like, I didn't, I didn't expect today. Like, it's almost like that's the situation. Like, or it was like, or it was like not a sure thing, like maybe it was mentioned, but they didn't agree to it yet. And then all of a sudden they're like, hey, I did it. And then the other person's like, wait, wait, I'm, I'm not, I don't, it, it's like they didn't have the place ready or they didn't have something ready. It could be paperwork, like a, 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 a getaway something, like they didn't have that in place yet. So it's like they were taking a little bit longer to get there to get the child and that was causing a problem for the kidnapper or kidnappers because Michael was fighting back or giving them a hard time in some way or they or maybe they just didn't know how to like this was more than they bargained for in some way like that something was giving them a challenge that they weren't previously anticipating um i'm, I'm gonna try and be uh, as gentle as i can with this part but it is a part that we need to figure out what happened that what happened that the kidnappers now owe money back to the person? Why did that not go through? Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Ten of Wands, a heavy burden. Four of Swords. Mm. Um, I'm just going to tell you kind of what I see here and then we'll go from there. This was more than the kidnappers bargained for. There was either a fight that was being put up or it was too much pressure or maybe like, like something happened that was unexpected. Like maybe someone showed up at the house and or wherever they were maybe someone showed up or maybe they had to like maybe they were seen no, i don't think they were seen with them it's like maybe I, I feel like someone came to where they were like let's say they were holding him in his house in their house let's just say that i don't know if that's the case but let's just say that they let's just say that they took they took them and they went in the house for a little bit it's like someone came over that they weren't expecting and then all of a sudden they're like freaking out. They're like, oh my gosh, you, know, you have to come now, you have to come now. But could, because there was like some noise or there was some 
fight back or like maybe he almost got away or something like that like this was harder than the kidnappers Hannah had anticipated it being and so at the same time the the ultimate kidnapper or like the 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 next step kidnapper wasn't ready to go through with the next stage of this yet and there was some kind of preparation needed allegedly entertainment person there's some kind of preparation needed so, okay so the the ten of the ten of wands is about a heavy burden um a struggle um a, a very stressful strenuous struggle that's like not ending like okay can't make this better can't figure out how to make this better um so my, my question here was why did the passing off of him michael not happen what what caused that what caused what caused the kidnappers to end up owing the money back so we have a heavy burden and then rest. Um, is, I'm not gonna get too much into this. Something happened where they no longer had the child to give to the next person. So the money had has is owed back for the essentially the deposit that was made because there there was the Ten of Pentacles in reverse is about like a lost investment, losing money from an investment, having to give money back, like a, a darkness associated with wealth is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So I do feel as though something bad happened in that time period. Maybe they were too rough with him, maybe I don't know what happened, but I, I do feel as though he was not able to be given to the next person and that's kind of where we're at now. Um, um, let me look up a couple things and I'll be right back. I'm gonna wrap this up now, but I want to just look at really quickly. Um, though they are not suspects, police are searching for at least four people who were in the area around the time Michael disappeared. Two of them were seen on foot on the evening of July 27th, while two vehicles, a Honda Pilot and a Dodge Avenger left the area that same night. Are any of those people also involved in this? Judgment and Knight of Wands in reverse. There's there one of the one of the four people were not doing something that was good like looking for trouble, causing trouble, in the midst of trouble, but I don't think it's related specifically to Michael's disappearance. While it does feel like there's some kind of connection between the darkness that I see with one of these people and the darkness with the, with the kidnappers, it, it doesn't feel like How can I say this? It, it's almost like there's there's some kind of connection. Like let's say there's multiple people trying to get a child to give to another person. 
one of these people that were walking around might have been another person that was looking for a child as well. But I don't see a connection between them and Michael. I think that goes back to Sarah and her husband. And I think that they, they're, they're really banking on her turning on that person because while this case is a big case and very hard, every case is very hard for every family. I'm not saying they're not, but I'm saying they're looking at this as an opportunity to kind of uncover something really dark or really big or like at least bigger than just this case. So that's likely why they're being kind of tight-lipped with certain information as well. I want to know the police investigators who are involved in this case, what is their current energy? Like in regards to what they have so far. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. The Fool in reverse. And the King of Swords. It's it, it's like they 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 keep hitting a dead end. Like the, they'll think they're getting close to someone opening up or to or to figuring some. Like there is how do I put this. There's a specific link that they're trying to prove exists. Hold on. It's, it's like a specific connection that they're trying to prove exists or trying to get enough proof of it existing. Um, and they keep getting close or thinking that they're close. And then it, it's like a surprise dead end where they're like, oh, I thought just, just like five more minutes and we would have had more information. Something like that. Um... They're, they're kind of banking on, like, catching someone off guard with something. They're, like, building up some kind of information so that they can present it to someone. And they feel like when that's presented to the suspect, it could be Sarah or it could be the husband or it could be someone when it's presented, they're hoping that that information that they're like in the middle of putting together will be enough to get that person to kind of say something like, oh, okay, well you got me. I'll tell you this now. Um, I, I think that's a man. I think that I, I I'm feeling like it's the husband. I'm feeling like they're trying to build up enough information about the connection between the husband and that third person because right now they have a connection between the, the Sarah and that third person. So they're trying to establish more of proof of that connection between the husband and the third person so that they can present that to the husband and be like, okay, well, do you want to explain this? Because this is not, this is not nothing. Um, yeah. I... I, I don't know if I'm going to get anything with this question here. Um, actually, let me use the other. I want to try and see if we can get any kind of idea of where he may be right now. Um, he is in Michael. Let's see. I'm not, I don't know what I'm going to get here. Um, it's locations are very hard. Um, I'm going to use these cards, not tarot. Let's just see what we can get. No promises, but we'll try. Meeting. Which is interesting because it's like that third person it's almost like I can see the, the kidnappers and the third person being like, okay, well, what should we do now? Like, and the third person being like, I, what should we do now? You did this. You, 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 this isn't going the way that I wanted to. You did this and now you have to figure it out. Outer 
there's these fraud with money on it. Clean up. Bloodline. They got someone to come and take him. Someone that is likely related to either Sarah or Stacy, the wife or the husband. They, they got someone else involved in it. Someone that either owes them something or they have something on them or it's a family member. I feel like that's why she was like, I don't have to be silent. I did nothing wrong because she knew that they weren't going to find anything. Because they, they, she knew that he had been taken by someone else and brought somewhere else. Um, I'm going to do one more set and see. Oh. Crossroad. <clears throat> New World Order, and in, in this instance, it's like, oh wow, wait, look at that, and mountains. Like the triangle here, but then the, the, the same triangle there. It's like, it's like this wasn't the original plan. It, someone else had to come and take him somewhere else because they had to come up with a new plan. I don't know where exactly they live. Idaho community. Um, Fruitland. Let's see. Um, let's see if there's mountains. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, so somewhere in the mountains or somewhere in like a very hilly area near a cross, like near a crossroads, maybe, or where a road crosses another road. It's like where road, how can I put this? Like where there's a crossroad or a cross section of some sort, it's like, that's where the where it's like off the road. I'm getting like extremely teary and that happens sometimes when I like get straight information. Um, so, communication. No and a beach. So it's, it's like he's in the mountains, but it's not near a water source. It's near a crossroad and not near a water source. Body double. Yeah, they got someone else to come in and help put the body wherever the body's at. I just want, now I just want to look at one more thing. I want to look at the energy of the person who helped move the body versus the, the kidnappers and then their energy between. The Empress, the star. Ace of Wands in reverse. Maybe, you know what it is? I don't think it's a bloodline of the kidnappers. I think it's someone, that third person, it's someone she got to go help remove the body. Someone that she has some kind of close connection with a family member, an employee, something like that. Like that third, something bad happened. The kidnappers called the other person and was like, hey, this happened. 
and it's almost like she was like, well, you're gonna have to get my money back, but I will come in and help you out of the situation because otherwise you're gonna mess it up and, and we're all gonna get in trouble because you're gonna mess it up. So that third person got someone to go and it's like she didn't even tell Sarah where she was taking the body because then that she knew there'd be no potential of her flipping on her. Allegedly entertainment purposes only. That's what it is. It, she does, it, it's almost like she can't say anything because she doesn't know the location of the body. And she can't flip on the other person because she doesn't have anything to flip on them for because she doesn't know anything after after he left she doesn't know anything that's what i'm getting um i will keep up with the trial a little bit and see kind of how that unfolds and then maybe we'll do another reading but that is what i'm getting